James and the Express. Sometimes Gordon and Henry slept in James's shed, and sometimes they talked of nothing but bootlaces. James tried to talk about engines who got shut up in tunnels and stuck on hills, but they wouldn't listen and went on talking and laughing. Gordon would say, You talk too much, little James. Now, a fine, strong engine like me has something to talk about. I'm the only engine who can pull the express. When I'm not there, they need two engines. Think of that. I've pulled expresses for years and years and never once lost my way. I seem to know the right line by instinct. Now, every wise engine knows, of course, that it's the signalman who works the points to make engines run on the right lines. But Gordon was so proud that he'd forgotten. One morning he said, Wake up, James. It's nearly time for the express. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, odd jobs? Oh, well, we all have to begin somewhere, don't we? Now run along and get my coaches and don't be late now. James brought Gordon's coaches to the station and Gordon backed onto the train. He was showing off like anything. Psh, make way there, Psh, make way. Psh. The fat controller was on the train with other important people. The guard blew his whistle. And Gordon started. Look at me now. Look at me now. Goodbye, little James. See you tomorrow. Look at me now. and the coaches glided after him out of the station. James watched the train disappear around the curve. Oh dear, I wish I could pull the express. And then he went back to work. He brought some more coaches to the platform and was just being uncoupled when he heard a mournful, quiet <whistles> And there was Gordon trying to sidle into the station without being noticed. Hello, Gordon. Is it tomorrow already, then? Gordon didn't answer. He just let off steam feebly. Pshhh. Well, did you lose your way, Gordon? No, I didn't. It was lost for me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop, and I had to go all around and back again. Perhaps it was uh, instinct gone, hmm? Oh, pshh. Meanwhile, all the passengers hurried to the booking office. Look here, we want our money back. Yes, we want our money back. Yes, money back. Money back. Everyone was making such a noise that the fat controller climbed onto a trolley and blew the guard's whistle. Now, uh, uh, wait a moment, please. Uh, wait a moment. Um, now, I promise you a new train if you'll all just keep quiet. Now, Gordon here can't do it. Uh, but perhaps, uh, perhaps, um, James will pull it for us. Hmm? James? Oh, yes, sir. I'll try. So James was coupled on and everyone got in again. Do your best, James. I will, sir. And off went James. <laughs> Stations and bridges flashed by. The passengers leaned out of the windows and cheered, and soon they reached the terminus. Everyone said, Thank you, James. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. And the fat controller said, Well done, James. Uh, would you like to pull the express sometimes? Oh, yes, please. Next day, when James came by, Gordon was pushing trucks in the yard. Oh, um, hello, James. Uh, uh, I like a bit of quiet work for a change, you know. I, I'm teaching these trucks manners. Uh, 
Uh, you did well with those coaches, I hear. Mm, good. We'll show them. And he gave his trucks a bump, and they went, oh, 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 um, oh, um. James and Gordon are now good friends. James sometimes takes the express to give Gordon a rest. Gordon never talks about bootlaces, and James never talks about getting stuck on hills, but they both often talk about trucks, and what fun it is making them go, oh, 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 o